Good morning. I am Dr. Shohini Sengupta and I am the Medical Laboratory Director for Redgate Labs India. Today we are going to discuss about the importance of testing of glycosylated hemoglobin, that is HbA1c. We know that almost one in every 11 Indians are affected by diabetes today. So it is very important that they are diagnosed early and monitored continuously so as to prevent complications like cardiovascular diseases, uh, nephropathies, then neural uh, disorders, retinopathies, etc. For diagnosis and monitoring of uh, diabetes mellitus, according to the American Diabetic Association, it is important that HbA1c be tested along with the blood glucose levels. Samples for HbA1c are collected in EDTA or lavender topped bacteriotainers. At Redcliffe, we perform glycated hemoglobin sample analysis in state-of-the-art BioVad Radiant Turbo 2 hemoglobin testing systems. The range for HbA1c, if less than 5.7, is considered to be normal. 5.7 to 6.4 is pre-diabetes and more than 6.4 is considered, according to the ADA or American Diabetic Association, to be in the diabetic range. HbA1c helps in the chronic glycemic monitoring of a person and reflects the glycemic history over a period of three months. It also is a predictor of long-term or chronic complications of diabetes. However, in patients who have hemoglobinopathies or in case of gestational diabetes, it may be useful to monitor the patient at more frequent intervals. That's where we offer fructosamin testing on an equally uh, advanced and state-of-the-art auto-analyzer system. Fractosamin helps us to monitor a short-term glycemic level of the patient over a period of two to three weeks. In a country like ours, where there's very high prevalence of diabetes mellitus, it is very important and imperative that patients are subjected to testing for not only glucose like fasting, random or uh, postprandial, but HbA1c as well for diagnosis as well as monitoring of diabetes mellitus. Thank you.